go into detail on the on the whole situation of your release, starting with uh, Eric getting ousted, and then yeah, well, I, you know, it was like in 1999, and I think Eric has left. They kind of ousted him in September, and and believe it or not, I just signed a two year deal with Nick Lambros. So, no, no, it wasn't with the net. Maybe it was, I'm not sure who it was. But anyway, I just signed a two-year deal. Um, so my new deal was 2000 and goes into end of 2001. And, and uh, this is when, I, you know, a lot of stuff was going on. There was actually a, amongst office people, they ousted Eric. A few of the VP got together and, and ousted Eric. And look, end of the day, way Eric ascended into the company, you know, he's um, he was the right man for the job. As history will, you know, will, will, will uh, bear that. He's the guy who, you know, brought the company to that level. But on the flip side of that is when he was going, you know, when ratings started to take the skid and stuff. Um, there was many reasons for that, and 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 uh, because he, Eric was restricted how he could use the company, um, um, how the accounting was set up. I mean, I I know more stuff than I probably should know, but Eric got blamed for it, and I think some of the guys who Eric leapfrogged when he became the president of the company, and I'm sure you know they're waiting for Eric to to fall so and and I can't say I'm a casualty of that I'm sure he played a part um, one of the things I don't think people realize was that uh, because of by this time New Japan deal was um, bringing the talent exchange deal was bringing you know million dollar plus plus merchandise we were selling um, bring a lot of money into WCW because of our New Japan deal. And and I was kind of right in the, you know, center of that. Um, I, but I don't think they took none of those into account. You know, um, so when Vince Russo came in, um, he made a very public statement on a WCW um, um, audio saying that he was from America that he didn't want any Japanese or Mexican on his American TV. Proceeded to terminate every Japanese talent, um, all the Mexicans, off TV. And then um, at that point, um, he, he makes that statement. And I think maybe, maybe three weeks later, J.J. Dillon called me and said, and at that point, I think I was managing, I was managing Ernest Miller. Right. So. Um, and JJ was head of talent relations. Head of ta yeah. Time, and, right? and, 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 you know, I love JJ. He was very nice to me. All those guys. I have no qualm, but, you know, none of those guys. JJ said, hey, you know, we're going to, we're going to use our clause in your contract, you know, terminate your 90 day deal. And he, he said, he said, well, if you sign the paper that I going to send to you, and we'll just pay you out 90 days and, and uh, you know, good luck to you. And I said, no, nah, that's okay. I'll, I said, you, you, you know what Vince Russo said, right? I said, that's a JJ. I said, and... He didn't like Russo either when we talked No, to no, him. no, of course not. <laughs> and, you know, he was exposing the company, right? I mean, when I say, I shouldn't say expose, exposure of, from what's, what's to come. So... And I think a lot of people mistake, you know, my lawsuit because when I filed mine, there was a few other people that filed um, clearly discrimination lawsuit. You, you know, he, he could have fired me. Or the best thing they could have done was just tell me to sit at home. You know, and there, there was nothing, any talent can do anything about that. If you're getting paid, you can't do anything about it. But... Um, you can't make that kind of public statement and then terminate you because of your national origin. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it seems like every lawyer that I talked to jumped on that. And, and um, um, but he was, you know, people believe that that was a class action lawsuit. He wasn't. It was a group of bunch of other people, and you know, and I had nothing to do with with. with there was uh, a class action. No, but there was there was never a class action okay. assault lawsuit. It was my my suit was mine alone. Um, and then uh, the other people had individual lawsuits. Yeah, everybody had an individual lawsuit. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Um, but it was the same lawyer eventually. Probably. Eventually, I think there was a couple different lawyers, but eventually, uh, Carrie Actor was uh, the main guy. It was certainly my attorney. Um, you know, it's pretty cut and dry, and there was a lot of evidence about this stuff that went on. But, you know, and I, I got asked a lot of questions about other people in the office. And, you know, my my focus was, my stuff was pretty simple. Um, you know, this is what the new guy said, the guy who replaced Eric Bischoff. And, and they took all of us off TV. Hmm. And you ended up getting an out-of-court settlement. Yeah, they settled. I, 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 it would have been pretty ugly, I think, uh, certainly for the exposure part. You know, I mean, it was it, there was a lot of stuff that that um, that doing discovery that was found. It was through the officer of the company, some of the attorney of the company, um, calling me a derogatory names, um, and and that was. Um, that was exposed during the discovery. Um, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't it was me saying it. it was somebody heard one of the attorneys saying that about me. You know, so mm -hmm. there was stuff that came out that was you know whether it's it, whether I mean, that's what they said it that they said, but um, um, you know, I mean, twenty some years ago, I'm glad thing happened the way it happened. Um, um, my kids were, I mean, timings, you know, right? life's supposed to, I mean, I, I have no regrets whatsoever. Um, uh, you know, m my oldest was, uh, I think junior in high school at the time. And so, you know, I got to, cause when you're on the road, man, you miss a lot of stuff. And that's one of the regrets about being on the road. So you know, I got to be home and getting back to my old martial arts business and my, my, my automobile business. So I got to spend a lot of time, you know, with my family and watching my kid grow up. So, you know, retrospect, it worked out great for me.